Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Aziza. I'm reading today for the sign of Virgo for love and relationship for the month of July Virgo, it seems like you have been, you did succeed with someone that you wanted, you love, you care about a lot. I see you protective over someone here. You and this person, you have a great connection together. And I guess here you are like best friends, uh, lovers, uh, partners, and they, you agreed, both of you, on getting married. He or she, it seems to be that they are waiting for the marriage date. And I get here that they want to marry you, but it feels to me here that this person like you know, have been really choosing to have their freedom. They see that, you know, they approach you, they want you, they want to be with you, but in the same time they have some doubts. They have some doubts in this partnership or this relationship and they need their time, their space a little bit. You feel like you know, that you want to give this person their space also because you have been waiting for that day. But it looks to me here that there are some blockages, serious thing happening at this time that you are coming to disappoint this person and hold back on this relationship. You feel like, you know, that you are isolated. You feel like, you know, that this person have been... You waited for this person to give you attention, their time. But it sounds like, you know, that this person have been really busy with, with themselves, like, you know, about something that is not really right here. Um, I don't see that this person have intention to walk away, but they have been distant a little bit. And... Both of you are not seeing things like you no know, eye to eye at this time. You tried in this relationship to make it happen, to make it work. But there is a lot of disappointment here. You are blocking like you know, the, really the marriage that was going to happen too soon. You feel like you no, know, this isn't what, what you want. You are bored with the same situation over and over. You, you have responsibility. You are holding on this person in your heart also. You want him or her. They are coming like you no know, forward to you and you were forthcoming, but you feel like you no know, that maybe we need to wait on that marriage date. We need to wait for better timing. This person I get here that you know they have a job here and they are having like you no know, that really loss in them uh, going through emotional turmoil right now. And I get here that they keep thinking about someone from their past what happened to him or her. It's like, you know, they had a really a bad relationship with someone in the past. It could be marriage, uh, um, walked away, the other person like you know, betrayed them. They keep thinking about it. They are afraid this is what's going to happen in this relationship too. This person is holding on you. You might have a daughter together here. You might have a daughter, like, you know, they have responsibility with you about a daughter, or it could be a son, but I'm showing here a daughter. This person loves you very much. 
not necessarily if every one of the if you like you know have kids from this person but I see kids I see responsibility there is some added responsibility coming might be somebody pregnant here if you are not you might really get pregnant if you don't want to you need to watch out I'm seeing here that, you know, that uh, there is someone else. I'm sorry. Your person is dealing with someone else. Hmm. When I saw this card, you know, I see the connection between you two, but it felt to me that there is another person in the picture again. And now this is confirming for me more that there is another person in the picture. It's like, you know, this person that you know that you are going to get married. It feels to me that there is a misunderstanding between you two a lot. And I get here that his or her disappointment is building up. That's why I get here that they managed to find somebody else. Like, you know, they, there is someone else. Mm, that's not good. And I get here unfinished business between you and this person, like, you know, the one you love. Communications are going to be good, but in the, in the same time, you are disappointed. You have that feeling that there is something going on. You see the change on your person, like, you know, they have been distracted, maybe giving you attitude, withdrawn to themselves, um, acting different, trying to dress up, looking good, something like that. And you are kind of like, wow. That's not like you, you know, you you kind of like you see the change in him or her. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm. And this person like, you know, they, they keep really coming to you no matter what. It's like you live together, you are together, but there is something going on here. He or she is snapping at you, yelling at you like you know, every time you say something, you know, they are being mean. You are being mean too. But in the same time, I get here what, what you are looking for, that you want your, your partner attention to you. You want to grab them out of it, no matter what they are dealing with. And you feel like, you know, that there is something with that person is not really right. He or she have been struggling with their emotions, trying to sabotage things. And I get here, you have been alerted, you, you can feel it. Anyway, dear Virgo, it seems to be that you're going to get really a new relationship for yourself, someone new. Um, maybe someone like, you know, that you know already, someone you talked to already, or you just met with someone. And if you didn't, you're going to meet with someone as soon as possible. Someone else other than the person that you, you are dealing with. You wanted to leave your partner, but every time you do, he or she like you not know, trying to make you stay and you are not, you haven't been able to leave because you needed this person maybe financially or you are helping each other in too many ways. Suddenly you are having your freedom, like, you know, it's like you are you are seeing the light about something, you have epiphany, you see like you know, things clearly. You see that you have been doubting yourself like you know, with this person that you have been really around with or being with or in a relationship with. But it, says, it seems to be here that you want to destroy everything. Suddenly you said no because you felt like you know, this isn't really, you felt like you, know, you are not going on the right direction with this person. You feel like, you know, it's not the right timing. That person is not understanding you. Um, you feel maybe you need to delay that marriage between you two to see, like, you know, what's going on. He or she may, might snap out of something they are doing, but you cannot really confirm 100% that this person is doing something. Hmm. You are always worried. You cannot sleep. Even like, you know, you wake up in the middle of the night, you know, thinking about stuff. You feel that there is another competition. You don't trust your person at this time. 
which is you did trust this person blindly before, but in a few months ago, like, you know, you did not. This person is drinking. The person that you wanted to go on with, this person is drinking at this time. They have been drinking for the past five months or maybe more even. Every time you talk to them, he or she like you know, yell at you, snap at you, you yell at them back. Mm. Hmm. See, his or her addiction, that's more than alcohol. That's more than alcohol. I'm not saying every single person that you know, like, you know, have really that, but it seems to be that there is so much bad addiction here going on. I get here they prefer on the addiction. It's like you waited for this person to snap out of the alcohol and they went on to, into something more than alcohol at this time. And the, your person, I get here, they are dragging their feet, you know, they are stressed out, like, you know, they are going through the changes. The changes is not really making him or her, like, you know, be happy. Um, there is a lot of stress right now also on your person because there is a move here. Both of you needed to move and there is an emergency moving. There is a move. Hmm. You both have kids. You both have kids. You have like you know, maybe kids together and kids like you, know, you, you dear Virgo have kids from another person also from you know, someone from your past. You have been really saying things also to your partner like you know, that hurt their feelings and they are not really like you know, telling you how much you hurt them and he or she is taking too much on at this time. This person have been really like you know, trying to use a method here like um, oh, this is something that maybe is too private um, but uh, they have been lacking the intimacy between you two but Lately, this person like you know, have been really having more intimacy with you or different kind of intimacy than usual. It's just because of the, maybe the drug they are abusing or using. And you go with it. But deep inside you, this isn't what you want. That's not the way like you know, that you want it. You feel you don't want to progress with this person. You don't want to be really dealing with this situation. And I get here that, you know, your person, he wants you to be stopping on a f being afraid or fearing. What's gonna happen to him or her? Because you are telling them, like, you know, if you don't quit on your drinking or your addiction, you might lose your life or health issue and this person wants you to stop. But I get here, you know, your person themselves, they are not ready to stop on this or have the control or the upper hand to stop on their addiction at this time. It's kind of like they are not being able to, but he or she wants you to leave them alone until they have the time, that have the strength, you know, to leave it by themselves. And they want you to let go things. He or she is feeling guilty for you also, but they will be really wanting to come back all the time to you. No matter what bad situation has ha happened between you two, it feels like... You are lucky, no matter what. Because this person keeps forgiving you and they keep coming back to you no matter what bad situation has been happening. What's going to happen here? Um, it sounds like, you know, you are postponing the wedding. Your person, it could be a cancer person also. I'm picking on a cancer person. Not necessary because there is an heiress here. 
and I'm baking on uh, there is a Gemini, there is Aquarius, there is an Aries, but mostly I'm baking on Cancer. And this person, like, not feels to me that he or she is really confused. Uh, emotionally at this time confused about love in general confused like you know about how to be happy he or she is running away behind drinking to make them feel good about themselves to have their private time it makes them happy to do something like you know drinking maybe addiction something like that is making them happy running away from problems emotional it's, it seems like there is weakness here they cannot face like you no know, problems uh, all of it at once and they get Come, like you know stressed out and hide behind alcohol or drinking because it's, it's, it's different for them like you know they think about it as something as a pleasure um, you felt like you know that there is he or she is discouraging you about life you have really like you know worried maybe some depression here and there um, the past two years it has been really like you know bad it's kind of like Happiness, disappointment, happiness, disappointment. And you try to convince yourself that's the way it is. But it's not really working no matter what. You're going to think about it. You're going to meditate. You're going to be really doing an effort. I don't see you like you're giving up on this person because he or she has been really very important to you. And it feels to you as... Um, you believe in this person that they can do much better and you want to give them a chance. Like, you know, along the run, like, you know, maybe you want really this marriage to be delayed about four months from now. So we are in July, August, September, October and November. But I'm picking on September, like, you know, you want to delay till September, but you might really like, you know, need more time. He or she might tell you, like, you know, oh, snap, out of it. Uh, you are confused. Uh, I'm not really against you. I'm not walking away. I'm not with someone else. Um, let's do the marriage very quick. You might really still do it. But it feels to me here that, you know, you are getting your strength back to face this reality with this person, to stand up for yourself at this time and say, I'm not really wanting to be treated this way this is really the part of it as you have been really like you know through a very hurtful turmoil you know between you and this person and you feel like you know that you need to stop this person from hurting you emotionally and mentally because they keep blaming things on you um you might really going through a rough time financially at this time also but it's going to be really dissolved I see a move for you anytime soon. It's like you have to move or you want to find another home as soon as possible. Um, something happens suddenly. Maybe the house you are in like you know, have been sold or something like that and you need to find another place. And I want to see like you know, how long till you find a new place. I don't see you and this person really walking away from each other completely, like, you know, 100%, unless it's something like, you know, a sudden decision you're going to make. But at least, like, you know, you feel like maybe he or she needs some time to heal from a situation. Hmm. And this person, you know, possibly, like, you know, they have a... It could be like, you know, a court date or something like, you know, they are worried about also. Up to three weeks, you're going to find a place, but, you know, it says here two weeks. For some of you, uh, uh, there is a move for you, like, you know, in two months also. It's going to be a struggle to find a place, but I get here that um, a lot of people around you try to help you. Maybe friends, family, mother. Um, it looks to me that, you know, everybody sharing a little bit here, like, you know, to help you out because so something happened as a sudden. Your relationship with this person, like, you know, looks 
unstable in a way. Let me see here. Will you and this person walk away from each other completely? I didn't see that. It feels like he or she is not explaining themselves. They don't speak very much. They just drink. And you want an explanation and you are guessing about too much stuff like, you know, with him or her. Um, but you are finding out like, you know, that they are going backwards in their life instead of getting forward. And that is hurting you tremendously. You feel you want to do it and destroy it suddenly out of the blue because you already, it says here, suddenly you decline the marriage. This person, like, you know, on addiction, it's a very negative situation right now. You feel like, you know, maybe there is a turn around, a turn to the better. Some of you might really walk away 100% at the end. Because you are becoming stronger. You don't want to listen like not really to this manipulation with this person. You might find out about another person also with, the, with your person. It's going to be hard to find out like you know, for real. For, like truly to catch it. But you will. And I get here that you might end up like you know, really with someone else. For some of you. Um... There is a turmoil of really getting back to each other, you and this person also, on and off, back and forth, in decisions. But it looks to me at the end you feel like you know, that you are wasting your time because you want to get ahead and this person is slowing you down. That's what's going on. And you want to be happy and you haven't been happy for a while. This person is trying to get you on their addiction also because they think like you know that you need to relax and calm down and whatever. So you, you need to get off. Uh, uh, they're back on their addiction and not to tell them do this and don't do that but in the same time I get here you kind of like you want to fall down with it and then you pick yourself up which is a good thing don't don't do it because you had that before and you don't want to really go on with it that this is a story in front of me and not every single fair Virgo like that because I hear comments sometimes oh I never do this um, it doesn't resonate with every single person. I hope you enjoyed the reading, dear Virgo. And if you need a private reading, please contact me. The link for my website is under in the descri under this video in the description box, mysticalaziza.com. After you click on the website, click on reading prices, purchase your reading, then give me a call, and the phone number is listed on my website. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.